So most travel near and far, but only I have what you seek. Alluring damsels, the most delicious of freaks. An adult carnival, so only if you dare. Don't be rude, guys. We encourage you to stare. You've never seen broads quite like this before. So scream, shout, hiss, and roar. like hers. Le Madame is a name you'll never forget. My name is Margot Celeste Medina and on stage I am known as Le Madame. I kind of run the show. I met the girls a few months ago. I guess you could say I'm the newest member of the group. They were actually looking for a master of ceremony so I of course offered my services as I usually do. As the mistress of ceremonies, I kind of add a little personality, um, total inappropriate comments to the entire show, and I think that's something that they really needed among other talents, which you'll see later. Um, also, I'm training right now to do knife throwing. I'm trying to do mental floss and also working on sword swallowing. So hopefully you will see that later on in the shows, and hopefully, I can get down my no gag reflex. I might as well use that on stage more than just other places. So hopefully it works out. The acts you're about to witness, some are very shocking, so keep an eye to your left and your right, for it's been known grown men have passed out, and we don't want anyone messing up their pretty little faces now, do we? So put your seats in an upright position, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the show. And remember, guys, don't try this at home. Maybe a tummy ache tomorrow. Soda pop and pink lemonade are as important as peanuts for the elephant. Now, folks, step right this way to the bigger, better, more exciting sideshow. Exciting show you've ever seen. And plenty of time to see it all. Her move sinful, her taste like sweet, warm apple pie. Many travel near and far for a naughty sight, perhaps a feel. She prefers you take all her orders and call her Mistress Camille. <laughs>
stage name is Camille Leon. I've been performing for about two years now. Um, I first got started with a burlesque, burlesque group called Napalm Cherry. And uh, from there I met some of the other members of Lestrange. And after moving on to another group after that, the members of Lestrange decided to uh, come together and form a sideshow group. So um, they invited me to be a part of that, which I felt really grateful. Uh, because I wasn't really in a sideshow at the time. Um, but then I started with them and I started uh, finding my passion. Uh, I got into tarantulas through a sideshow. And well, I've, I've loved snakes for a long time, but uh, that's how I came across Melvin here. Uh, named after Melvin Burkhart, the founder of Human Blockhead, which is a really good, um, best known act. And uh, so what I do with the group is um, I'm a snake charmer, the put tarantulas on my face. And uh, I do fire poi. Um, I do pole, pole dancing, uh, some crazy aerial stuff on the pole. Um, magic, cheesy magic, getting better at it. Um, what else do I do? Uh, I walk on glass with some of the other girls, lay on bed and nail, get a cinder block smashed across me. And moreover, I like to think of myself as a silent clown. I don't talk a whole lot on stage, um, so I just have the goofy clown face. Um, but yeah, now it's, now it's what I love to do, and one of the best parts about it, I think, is uh, the people afterward, when they come up to you and they they how amazing it was, how they've never seen anything like it before. Uh, it's a really, really neat feeling, and it's really cool to be able to provide that for people. Um, and a lot of the posts that I get on Facebook and, and just how good that feels to uh, be able to make somebody's day better uh, by watching our show and watching something different. And, uh, the four corners of the world. For two nickels, one dime, a tenth part of a dollar, we've got the show if you've got the dime. It's just starting. So hurry, hurry, look them over the lady without a head. There are thin ones, there are fat ones, they're all inside. Zip and pip the pin-headed people. A sample of the marvelous freaks you'll see for the price of a small thin dime. You get the whole show now if you hurry, hurry, hurry! Up first, ladies and gents, have I got a tasty little treat. Don't be fooled, she's just as wicked as she is sweet. It's been said for sore eyes, she's quite the sight. This damsel, Aliska Wolfbane, no bark worse than her bite. <laughs>
Hello? Can you hear me? Is everything okay? Is this working all right? Hello, my name is Elisa Wolfbane, but my real name is Elisa McLam, and I'm a sideshow performer. I've been performing sideshow for about two and a half years now. Um, I perform the basic acts, like the classic sideshow acts, including him and blockhead, light bulb eating, beds and nails, broken glass walking, um, oh, oh, box of stuff. And I don't really know what got me into this. I just, one day, just wanted to try it, and so I tried out the human blockhead, and it's where you hammer a nail into your face, like with a hammer, and I just got kind of hooked after that, and everyone's always asking me, like, well, what made you do it? Why do you do it? And it's, I honestly don't know. It's kind of like tattoos. Like, when people ask you, well, why do you have that tattoo? It's because I love it, and I want it on me and with me, and to be a part of me all the time. And that's why I do Sideshow, because I love it and I want it to be a part of me. Bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you? So up next, it's not just from her kiss that you'll see sparks get too close. She's been known to leave marks. Her erotic tale will have you frantically turning each page. She's your fantasy come true. She's our temptress, Miss Gage. Yeah. 
My name is Rose Munoz and I go by Gage, Anastasia. I've been performing for six years now. Started off doing cabaret and then kind of went into burlesque, wanted to perform as a solo performer. And I started getting bored, so I wanted to work with the crazier stuff, kind of do something a little more dangerous and pick up sideshow. I was doing grinding and fire eating. Um, and gore, blessed, and a few other crazy things. And I just really love it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, performing, I've always been a performer, so being on stage has always been something that I've wanted to do, and taking it to that dangerous level or side, whatever you want to call it, it just kind of really makes me happy as a performer. It kind of lets me ace um, myself in my everyday job. And uh, I'm also a producer, I produce the same thing at the last festival as well as other festivals and shows around town throughout the year. So I'm uh, constantly busy and pretty stressed, but I love what I do, so I keep it.